Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to walk through another challenge on the Let's Defend platform. If you haven't heard about the Let's Defend, uh, basically it is a, a platform designed for the uh, SOC. Uh, if you are inspired to working on SOC or if you are um, just interested in the blue team in general, uh, Let's Defend is a very good platform uh, for you to check out. Um, so uh, they have monitoring uh, all these cases you can working on uh, on the let's defend but today we're going to uh, focus on the uh, focus on the malware analysis they just uh, released this uh, uh, scenario today so it's it is malicious VBA so let's get it started so uh, this challenge is um, basically you you use the cyber shift to decode a malicious VB micro uh, document. So uh, I have already finished this uh, scenario, but let's doing a quick walkthrough. So I can show you guys how to um, decode all this um, obfuscated uh, malicious VB micro. So uh, the, the, the password for the malicious micro is pass321. And uh, I have already downloaded on my Kali machine. So let's getting started. That's getting started. So uh, here I have my uh, invoice.vb. So this file uh, is basically the file um, you need for the investigation. So um, based on the hint, we can see that this um, it says one of the employees has received a suspicious document attached in the invoice email. They send you the files to investigate. You manage to extract some strings from the VBA micro document. Can you refer to the cyber chief and decode the suspicious strings? So um, here it has a hint for you that you need to extract some strings from this VBA micro document. So let's do that first. So you can, what you can do is you can use strings um, utilities in the in the Linux to extract the ex extract all the strings. So if I hit enter, you will see that you will see that we have all these string. Um, it, all, all, all these strings is basically a micro file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all these obfuscated. Uh, malicious micro into my uh, into a text file editors so uh, just bear with me so I'm going to just copy it in here and uh, uh, let's let's do some analysis first so so all these all these um, all these strings if you are not familiar with uh, VB micro so basically Micro is used in uh, uh, in the micro Microsoft products. So, uh, what attacker usually do is you they usually create um, the VB script as a micro file uh, in and embed it, embed those micro file in the Word Word document or the Excel document. So, uh, whenever the user enable the micro, the malicious script will be executed. So, and uh, the the attacker either can get a reverse shell on the users or uh, some more malicious malware will be downloaded to the users machines to, to perform more um, actions on users um, on users machines so that is basically how the microfile works uh, malicious microfile works so we see that here we have um, all this gerbish uh, is it, all those strings basically make no sense that they are basically obfuscated uh, variables that makes your uh, life harder. So the attacker basically they obfuscated all the strings to make the security analyst jobs harder. So um, so another uh, we can going back here say uh, we say that um, it says can you refer to the cyber chief and decode the suspicious strings. So Cyber shift is a uh, really powerful tool you can use to uh, basically decode every, anything you want. So I'm going to open the cyber shift in here. So let's jump into the first question. Um, the document initiates the download of the of a payload after the execution. Can you tell what website it, it is hosting it? So for this question, um, 
what we are going to looking at is um, one one really good thing about this challenge is that it's basically all these questions is asking asking you in an order so you will not you won't need to worry about need to find find out the answers in other parts so you just need to follow this um, code so you, you will get answer uh, on time so so let's say uh, we want to decode some string right so we want to decode this string over here right so we copy it into the cyber shift and uh, um, and uh, another another string we want to copy is this one so this is the variable basically this is a, a obfuscated variable and it contains a string this string basically it is some um, uh, strings we need to decode so we have this string but we are uh, not very sure what this string is um, at the first time i saw it, this string is uh, hashes but i was wrong so what you need to do is basically you need to do some uh, trial and errors uh, it is not very obvious for this one but definitely you need to doing some research and doing some trial and error so what i did is i tried all this um, base 60, uh, 64 uh, base, base 32 base 85 i tried all this but uh, the correct uh, the correct one actually is this one the char code so char code base 60 16 uh, you just you just drag the char code into the receipt and uh, the default one will be served you very well so we see that here we have this tiny url.com uh, with this url uh, being shortened so uh, we know that this is the answer we are looking for right so you see that my answer is here is matching exactly what we see here so that is our first question uh, the second question is basically the same step is asking for what is the file name of the payload include the extension right so if you're going back to the to your malicious uh, micro file you can copy the second line uh, into your cyber chief right so uh, just be aware that this does not make any sense because you didn't copy all the uh, strings it, it requires you to copy so you need to finish this line by copy the second uh, second part of the string so you see that you have this dropped.exe so this one basically it is a malicious payload uh, it got executed on the user's machine um, this this can either to um, use used as to uh, to pull pulling more uh, payloads to the users pulling more malware payloads to the user's machines or or establish a reverse shell to the attackers uh, c2 server so this is basically the second answers uh, dropped.exe and the third one is what method is it using to establish a HTTP connection between files on the malicious web server so this one it can be a little bit tricky because the uh, uh, answers format issue um, I was trying to figure this out for a really long time so let's see what we can find so we see that we have this create object right so we have this create object in here and uh, if you guys are uh, not aware uh, in the micro you can actually initiate the HTTP request so um, I can show you guys very quick what this is like but we see that in the MS uh, XML to the server XML HTTP 6.0 is basically the HTTP message is used in the um, used in the micro but if you guys are not familiar uh, we can see that going to the Microsoft official document uh, we see that um, this is for the ASP.NET let me, let me see like going to the VB script right so uh sorry we want to say it in the micro micro context so it will go to the stack overflow so it is actually um it is really obvious this one is um you see that it actually looks like this so 
it is basically you create the object uh, to calling this object and the uh, the next step is to um, to making a HTTP request right so you're making request in, uh, through this open open method uh, to make an HTTP request this request either can be get or post is similar to the other programming language you use so uh, that is so the the format for this question is actually um, without that uh, dot six dot point uh, zero so it it's just the uh, this part so uh, server XML HTTP so the fourth question is what user agent string is it using so uh, this one is um, so if you know that uh, if you if you understand this this questions um, this flow basically you just repeat the same step so this question uh, is actually pretty straightforward you just need to build out uh, the same steps same process um, everything's same uh, you just need to so we have already said this is, this is user agent and uh, it becomes very clear uh, we are on the right track right so Mozilla slash 4.0 right uh, we have the second part already and uh, we're gonna be copy this whole string uh, into the third part so Mozilla slash 4.0 uh, brackets compatible uh, MSIE 6.0 Windows NT 5.0 so this part is our uh, user agent so uh, that is the answer what is the next what is uh, question 5 what object does the attacker use to be able to read or write text and the binary files so um, so what the attacker did uh, is basically uh, the attacker downloaded this executable file and uh, uh, the attacker then uh, saved the file to the uh, to the disk right so it, it write this object it write this file uh, it just downloaded to the disk so uh, we're gonna to copy this right gonna copy this uh, this line and uh, this string to hear that we see that this is uh, a d o d b dot stream uh, if you're not not very sure what this is oh sorry guys this is bad actually so uh, it is actually a, a X active x data uh, method it's basically used for like uh, creating files creating files right text method right so this is uh, uh, basically used to creating files on the disk uh, the last question is what is object the attackers use uses for WMI execution possibly they are using this to hide the suspicious application running on the background so uh, same step right uh, if you're scrolling all the way down here that you see um, I got this answer when 32 uh, under 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 um, underscore process so I believe that you need to filter out this line right so let me just filter it out um, very quick we're gonna be finish it uh, right so finish the, the second part so you see that we have when management uh, backslash root backslash um, CIMV2 uh, when 32 underscore process. So that is basically our answers. And if you want to see the whole code, I actually have a code here. Uh, you, you see that if you search the hard process, um, if you search the hide process, you can see that we have this uh, string here. Let me show you guys what this looks like in the plain text. Um, I cannot find it for now, but yeah, so here we see that create a process in a hidden window. So what attacker did is attacker does not want the user to see all the activities uh, it 
performs right so it it uh, actually uh, create this process right created this process and uh, and uh, uh, basically the tagger hide the window uh, so it will not uh, it will not show to the user in the front end so that is for today and uh, uh, this challenge is actually really fun and a uh, big shout out to the let's defend team for creating this challenge uh, had so much fun with it and I encourage you guys to go to check it out um, they have other uh, malware analysis um, uh, scenario on there as well and they have the DFIR uh, which they have um, this really all, all these really good scenarios you can check it out and don't forget they have this um, monitoring scenario specifically designed for the SOC analyst so if you inspire to become a SOC analyst or you are working as a SOC analyst uh, this platform will be a really good training pl platform for you to sharp your skills so that is for today and uh, once again thank you guys for watching this video uh, I will see you guys next time thank you